Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. My name is Jimmy. Today is September 10th and Samsung just pushed off the huge update of Samsung One UI 6.1.1 to the Galaxy S24 series, the Galaxy S23 series, also the Galaxy Z Fold 5, the Flip 5, and the Galaxy Tab S9 series. Now, one thing to note is that if you are updating on the Galaxy S24 series or the Galaxy S23 series, it's just referred to as Samsung One UI 6.1. But if you are updating your Galaxy Z Fold 5, the Flip 5, or the Galaxy Tab S9 series, it would be referred to as 6.1.1. Now you can see here that this one is a very large update. It's right under 3 gigs, and the version ends with AXH7. Now I just installed the update, so now we are officially sitting on Samsung One UI 6.1.1 on the Galaxy S24 Ultra. Now just remember, if you have any of the Galaxy S23 series or the S24 series, it'll still state 6.1, but if you have the larger screen devices, the Flip 5, Fold 5, and the Tab S9 series, it will state 6.1.1. So what we'll do in this video here is we'll go through the change log. These are all of the brand new features that's a part of this huge update. I'll actually show you a few over here on the Galaxy Z Fold 6 so we can kind of go back and forth. So we'll see what is new. I'll show you exactly what we're talking about. But make sure you guys stay tuned, hit that subscribe button because the next video I upload will be specifically only with the S24 Ultra with this update here. And I'll go over the top features or at least the top 10 that you should definitely use on a daily basis. Now taking a look at the change log over here underneath Galaxy AI, you can turn simple sketches into awesome images. You'd also be able to create unique portraits. So a couple of things that they're talking about here is let's say that you take a look at a photo inside your gallery. So if I go back just a couple, uh, you can see this image here, it is a portrait. So if you tap on this little edit button, you tap on Galaxy AI on the bottom left, you have a couple options sitting here. You can do sketch to image, or you can also do portrait studio. So for Portrait Studio, what you can do is you can actually turn this photo into a unique portrait, meaning you can turn this into a comic, a 3D cartoon, watercolor, or sketch. So for this one, we'll just do watercolor. And anytime that you choose any of these options, you can always go back, change it to the other, or let's say that you generated some photos, none of them really kind of came up as you liked, you'd be able to actually head on over to the right-hand side and you'd be able to generate it again. So if you'd like to have four new images pop up, just choose that option. If there's any of these that you do like, then all you'd have to do is hit on this little download button. So I'm gonna go with this one. I'll hit this little download, and now I have this additional photo saved in my gallery. Now, here's another thing that you can also do. Again, going back to this photo, you go back to Galaxy AI, now you can do sketch to image. So what you can do is you can pretty much sketch anything onto this image that you want to. So for this one, let's just see if I can kind of, I don't know, throw on like a little hat or something. I don't know if it's gonna pick this up as a hat. So we'll go through, we'll hit on generate. Again, I am not a good drawer at all, but I was able to sketch like a really bad dog in a separate photo and it was able to come up with something like really good. So uh, this is the original image over here. This is my, my really bad drawing and it throws on that type of a hat. Looks like we have a cowboy hat. <laughs> we also have that type of a hat end of this one. So pretty much any of these, again, if there's any of these that you like, you'd be able to go through and you can hit on done and then you can have it be saved. So this is where I'm going to go to save copy. So now I have the original as well as the copy itself. So from this one image alone, I was able to, with Galaxy AI, have this photo here and also this photo. Going back over to the change log, you'd be able to let your phone do the writing for you. So whenever you need to write something, whether in a text, email, social media post, you can just pretty much give Samsung's keyboard just a little bit of uh, something to write. So let's say that we go inside of an email over here. So for this one, all you'd have to do is let's say you're inside of an email, you hit on Galaxy AI, and then you can do Composer. So for this one, you don't have to write a full entire detailed message to get something across. Uh, you are able to choose it if you want it to be in the form of like an email, standard, social media, or a comment. You can make it sound professional, casual, or polite. So for this one, we'll just make it professional and email. And for this one, I gave an example earlier of, you know, hey, good luck at the dentist. We'll see you on Monday. So I'm going to pretty much write that exact same thing. So I wrote this down. I just said, good luck at the dentist. Uh, I'll see you Monday. And then you just hit on generate. So if somebody is going to the dentist, maybe you're a manager or whatever, and you just wanted to get something off really quick. Now here is your professional email that you'd be able to hit on insert. So it just says right here, you know, you can even do subject if you want to, you can change it. It says, hi there, I hope everything goes well at the dentist today. I know that these appointments aren't always the most fun. Try not to stress too much about it beforehand. I'm sure it'll be over before you know it. Let me know 
how it goes when you have a chance. Otherwise, I'll see you Monday. So if you like this one, you hit on insert and then you're able to get sent. Also, you have the option for refresh. If you like to have another option, you know, or another little message you can do, then you'd be able to send this one off, whichever one fits probably, you know, your personality. Now going to the Galaxy S24 Ultra, what you'll be able to see here is that when you tap on your little Galaxy AI icon, this is where you can see your composer option. And it has a little orange dot letting you know that it's brand new and ready to use. Heading back over to the change log, you'd be able to translate calls in more apps. So simply talk over the phone and get translation in real time. Translate image text on web pages. So get the entire web page in your language when you translate a web page in Samsung Internet. Translate in listening mode. So listen in no matter which language is being spoken. Interpreter's new listening mode lets you translate one-way communication like a lecture or presentation into your language. And pretty much where you can find that is if you pull down your quick settings over here, you'll see this little option up on the very top right hand side for interpreter. So this is where you'd be able to start having it listen in and have everything all get translated. You would also be able to turn your voice recordings into notes. It's easier than before to create notes with Samsung Notes, even using just your voice. You can translate and summarize PDFs. You'll also be able to auto detect languages in Voice Recorder. You can edit voice recordings and transcripts. And you'd also be able to enhance your wallpaper with special weather effects. So for example, if you go to the Galaxy Z Fold 6 over here, let's say you go to wallpaper and style, you can change your wallpaper. And then as you scroll down, you'll see this option down over here called Photo Ambient. So with this one, you'd be able to select a photo. And then what it'll do is it'll be based on time and weather. If it's going to have a little bit of snowflakes come down, if it's going to rain, if it's going to you know, show a little sun. So you'd be able to go and you can hit Try Now. Let's find a photo. So with a photo that is chosen based on the default location in the weather app, Photo Ambient Wallpaper uses AI to change your own photo to sunny, raining, or snowing. So pretty much if you just want to see what it looks like, you hit on this little play button and it's going to give you all those different little scenarios. So if it was raining, then it's going to make this photo right here look like it's raining. Uh, if it was snowing or if it was sunny, it'll kind of have a little sun go to the very top right hand side. So if this is something that you like, then you'd be able to hit on done and it's saved to your phone. Now, next up, you can create epic images so you can bring photos to life with live effects. Give your subjects a lifelike appearance by applying stunning cinematic effects to people and animals. You'd also be able to quickly save and share instant slow-mo clips. So beforehand, when you were watching a video, if you were to press and hold on the video, it'll do super slow-mo. So when you press and hold, it'll do a super slow-mo effect right here. But really, that was all it did. It gave a super slow-mo effect for you to watch this video at this portion in super slow-mo. But now when you let go, you can actually hit on save, and it's going to save that clip you just did as a super slow-mo video. Now, take a look at this. Let's say that we move right on over and we're taking a look at this. I press and hold. This is where I'm doing a super slow-mo look at this car. And then as I let on go, I can tap on this little download button. And that little clip that I press and held as super slow-mo is now its own clip. You'd also be able to create fun animated stickers and GIFs. So you can touch and hold any object from a motion photo to clip it. And then you can basically turn it into an animated sticker or GIF. You'll also be able to clip just what you need. So you can touch and hold a person or object in any photo and you can clip it. So for example, in this photo, I have three different little 3D prints. I'd be able to press and hold right here. And now I can actually save this as a sticker or I can even save it as an image. So if you want to just share only this little image of this little 3D print, you'd be able to have just that picture. And then this is that end result of that clipped image. Scrolling on down, you'd be able to unlock a healthier you so you can discover new insights and stay motivated inside of your Samsung Health. You can monitor your energy levels with Galaxy AI. You get more detailed sleep analysis, share health data with your family, make your own workout routines. You can connect cycling power meters. You'd also be able to be more productive. Suggested actions for smart select. So you can take action quickly based on what is shown on the screen. So for this one, pretty much what you're able to do is let's say that we take a look at the screen over here. What you'll notice now is you're going to have new icons and you might notice that your little uh, 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 smart select has been kind of changed or updated. So pretty much it's going to be this little image right there. So when you take a look and you tap on this little image, it's going to look at the full entire thing and then you can basically kind of highlight this spot. It's going to do that for you. You could tap on this image. So it's just a refined smart select. 
And this is where you can copy it. You can pull, you know, text from the image, pretty much whatever you want to do. It's, it's so much better. You also have these little lines. If you want to make it bigger or smaller, you can add it to a note. You can copy it, share it, download it, pull the text from the image. So pretty much when it comes down to your smart select, it just got even more smart. You also have enhanced multi-window experience. So it's easier than ever to switch between picture and picture and split screen, uh, easier file copying and moving. You also have create file shortcuts on the home screen. You have improved thumbnail image display. You can highlight your schedule so you can mark important dates on your calendar quickly and neatly. Uh, use the straight line highlighter with your S Pen to mark important dates on your calendar in the month view. So this way you can now erase highlighted sections without erasing other pen marks. Automate your watch with modes and routines. You have more message filtering options. When you create a routine that starts when you receive a message or notification, you now have more fine-tuned control. There's even more improvements you can design and share your profile card, which means your profile card is what shows up uh, for other Galaxy users when you call them or if they were to view your contact info. So for example, if I go inside of my contacts, this right here is my profile card. This is what is showing for me. This is what will show for other Galaxy users. I'm not gonna scroll down as it has all of my details and phone numbers and everything, but pretty much you can create your own profile card for other Galaxy users to view. You can skim through videos quickly so you can save time and effort if you wanna seek through a video. So if you double tap the right, it'll go forward five seconds. Double tap the left, it'll go back five seconds, so it's the same thing as YouTube. You can answer calls with a tap instead of a swipe, which I've been using on the Galaxy Z Fold 6 for a while. You can answer all calls using the speaker, so you can enjoy easier hands-free phone calls if you prefer talking uh, on the speaker otherwise. You also have get frequent weather updates, so stay prepared for sudden weather changes. Extra strong security. If you have special security needs, you can now set auto blocker to apply maximum restrictions to get the highest level of protection against malware and security threats and enhanced assistant menu. You can now open the quick menu or the quick panel with just one tap. You can also have greater control of physical buttons. Use the assistant menu to press and hold or double press the side button. So pretty much that was the full entire change log. We kind of went through everything. I showed off a few of the really cool features over here. But what we'll do now is I'm going to play with this little update, see if there's any other little small little nuances with it. But make sure I stay tuned. I'll come back with another detailed video of probably the top 10 features you should definitely play with from this update here. But hopefully you guys have appreciated this video. If you did, give it a big thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe. Subscribe on the very bottom left-hand side. And if you like this video, then more than likely you'll also like this video. And I'll see you guys later.